let us go ahead and pick it on up with a test of strength. And the fun thing is, we get to remember how to play in the middle of a boss fight. Let's go! Best way to do it. Time for the test of strength. Are you ready? Yes. Hello, Oman. That's what I like to hear. Good luck in there. You'll need it. So, where does this, uh, Lestro take place, Master Solomon? In my special secret place. Watch that, yes. Door, door, up from the floor. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. <coughs> Amazing, he conjured a door out of thin air. You have to go through it to get to where we do the test of strength. It's a little place called the Solosseum. Tidy, you ready for the final test, Ollie boy? We have to pass it. We just have to. I'm ready. Come on, guys. Tidy. <clears throat> Mr. Drippy's just hip-hop, hippity-hopping his way through. <laughs> This is the final trial. This looks a bit flippin' serious. <gasps> ah, jeepers. The Solosseum. <laughs> well, that looks a little scary. Oliver, look. Whoops. <coughs> Bashura. Okay. Well, let's try to remember how to play for a boss fight. Let's go. Let's go, bonkers. Oh, nice. Oi, Oli boy, this BC boy has got a big old shield protecting his back in it. Better give him a whack in front of the front. Ugh. Fine. We'll bonk his front. Do an evade! I wasn't fast enough. Got the last hit, you stupid duck. Don't give me uh, to that yuck yuck, you freaking duck. Spirit of the temple. Good job, Angel Lemur. <coughs> hey, you passed the strength of test. We did it, Oliver. We did it. We sure did. That's the last trial. You've passed them all. Now I got you a graduation gift. Here. We, may, we can make a bridge. 
Broom, broom. Broom, broom. New spells, thank you very much, Master Solomon. Tidy. They look like proper useful ones, too. Of course they are stupid. I wouldn't give them rubbish ones, would I? Anyway, it's time for the main event. My specialist subject, familiars. I'm going to teach you the secrets of creature taming. Creature taming? Oh, that sounds interesting. Heh, <laughs> you're a bit annoying, but at least you're enthusiastic. Okay, first let's talk about serenading. What's serenading? I'm just about to tell you, aren't I, stupid? It's something you can't do without a special instrument for a start. An instrument, so that means... Yep, yeah, leave it to me, Oliver. I'd better give you it before we carry on. Om Popa! Ooh. Shiny. Master. Here, take this. It's called the Heart Winning Harp. The Heart Winning Harp! Wow, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <coughs> it's not just beautiful, it's useful too. You can play it to tame creatures and make them your familiars. It's probably easier to show you than explain. You're quite slow after all. I prepared three creatures for you to tame. Pick one you like the look of. Yes, you're right. You can tame creatures in battle. Try it out with these ones. I'm not scared of my pets. They won't attack you. <laughs> Wimps. Uh, how do I tame them? Well, every now and then, when you beat a creature, it will be so impressed it will fall in love with you. If that happens, yucky hearts will appear above its head like this. <laughs> That's sweet. Ugh. Anyway, when you see the hearts, it's time for you to play a serenade. If you manage to not mess it up, the creatures become tame and join you as they are familiars. That seems simple enough. Doesn't matter who beats a creature, it can still go all gooey and girly and lovey-dovey. But only you can tame it, Esha. So if we want a creature to join us, Esha has to play the song. I just said that, didn't I? Stop asking stupid questions and give it a try. Yes, Your Honor, but which one shall we pick? Why do we have to flip and pick? Can you give us the whole lot of them? The stringy old so-and-so. What's the matter? It's spoiled for choice. Now, when you finish mounting and grounding, just let me know which one you want me to give you completely for free. Okay, which one do we want for free? Do we want... This ghostly thingy with large ass gooey hands. Do we want this floating little nymph? Or do we want the newt newt duck? Who clearly can't stand still. I think we should pick ADHD duck. <laughs> Yeah, let's go with ADHD duck. <laughs> Badooby doo ba ba. That stupid looking one's called a shonky honker. It's got good defensive magical attack, and it can put enemies to sleep as well. It's a bit of an all rounder, I suppose. Well, let's figure out what they're all called. Boo. This one's called a boogly boo. It may have a stupid name, but it can scare the pants off people even worse than me. Packs a hefty punch, you can learn some pretty nasty tricks, too. This cute little creature is called a Nyad. So there. It's not very good at normal attacks, but it's got some decent magical ones, and it's a great healer, so it's helpful to have around. Hmm. Question is, what do we choose? Newt Newt. Who's just kind of a jack-of-all-trades. Mr. Punchy Punchington, or a healer. Have you decided? Yes. <coughs> Here we 
go. Right then, daughter of Rashad, are you ready? You're the only one who can use that hop, so you better use it. Right. Listen, there's three creatures here. You have to pick one to be your familiar. You know how to time right at first. You have to beat it in battle. Look at that, it's up on its feet again. Creatures do that sometimes when you beat them in battle. See those yucky pink hearts over its head? That means you can tame it. If Ash is near a creature with hearts, she can use her heart command. But you, if you don't choose quickly, it'll run off anyway. We tame the boogly boo! Good job, Go Go. What should we name Boogly Boo, though? Boggly? Boggles? Boogie? BB? <laughs> Hansy? Punchy, ghosty, orangey. Orange, all right. Orange, orange it be, can't you see? <coughs> orange is now your familiar. We did it! We tamed a creature! <laughs> Not bad for if I try, I suppose. Like I said, anyone can beat a creature, but Escher has to be the one to play the song to tame it. So you have to work together if you want to get the familiars. I know it's hard for selfish brats like you, but you'll just have to try. Yes, Master Solomon, we understand. Neato! Huh, Asher? Oh, and you can have three more familiars as well as the ones you can use in battle. <clears throat> Toity! But what happens if we all get overexcited and tame more familiars than we got room for? Then you'll have to speak to a little friend of mine. Look over there for a second. <clears throat> What a funny looking little thing. Is he a familiar too? Don't be stupid. That's the rep from the familiar retreat. He'll take any familiars you don't need off your hands and keep them safe back at the retreat. No, oh, that's useful. Looks like you'll be keeping busy then, eh, Asha? I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see what kinds of creatures there are out there to tame. You can find familiar retreat holes in every town you visit and even in some dangerous places too. I think I've seen some in places we've already been. Hang on, look, your familiar is ready to metamorphosize. Meta what? Blimey, I have to teach you about that as well, do I? You don't know anything. Fine. I'll teach you about metamorphosis too. But give me a break first, will you? Explain this is going to give me a face ache. Okay. Right, it's time to teach you about metamorphosis. This is boring, so listen closely. I'm not explaining it again. If you look, you can see your familiar wants to metamorphose. Metamorphose. And for that, you'll need one of these. Here. We got a sun drop. Is this some kind of tree? That's not just any old tree. Look, just try it, will you? I'm bored of talking. Give it to that mite you've got there. Feed it to him in the creature cave, you mean? Okay. Here goes. Metamorphable. <laughs> Allows the sun sign familiar to metamorphosize. We going from mite... To Mighty Might! Have bonkers? Yeah. Let's go bonky, boy! Now he looks like a angsty teenager, to be honest. The number of different tricks can perform in battle increase by one! 
Neato! Look at my familiar. That's metamorphosis. When a familiar gets big enough, you can feed it special treats to make a change into a new version. Metamorphosis. Got it. When they metamorphose, they get stronger, look different, and learn better tricks. They also get to gobble up more gems, meaning you can teach them even more tricks. The treat you need to feed a familiar to make it metamorphose depends on its sign. Something you never would have worked out on your own. Oh, and here's another piece of priceless wisdom you don't deserve. When familiars metamorphose, they go back to level one. But that doesn't mean you're back at square one. Once you train them up, they'll be much more powerful than before. No, whether you metamorphose your familiars or not is up to you. Some idiots prefer to stick with what they've got. Do what you want. I don't care. Now you don't need anything else explaining, do you? You're fine with what I've taught you, right? Yes, Master Solomon. Good, I hate explaining all that stuff. Anyway, if you want to hear all the boring details again, you can just ask the b boring old telling stone you've got there. Did somebody say my name? It is as his supremacy says. I can replicate his explanations in minute detail at any time you choose. You need only ask and boring. Ugh, you haven't changed. Anyway, now you know how it all works. You can get out there and tame loads of familiars and make them metamorphose. Thank you, yo. Yes. Ty, you're a supreme dude. Right, where to next time? Can we go back to Alma Moon soon? I want to see how my father's getting on. Sure, we can tell him. We can ask him about the other great sages too. Goodbye, Master Solomon. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. I mean it. Shut up and get lost. Wow, he's a nice guy. I sure want to be his friend. Oh yeah, do we have any quests that we're currently working on? <clears throat> ah, we still need some special spices, I believe. Which means we have to go back to the volcano. What's that rumbling noise, Ollie boy? It ain't your stomach, is it? Uh, oh my goodness, look over there. Yeah, that was definitely my stomach. Knickers, that ain't good. Oh no, Old Smokey is erupting. Old Smokey? It's a volcano over to the west of Alma Moon. Proper huge it is. I'm no scientist, but I reckon it's the reason this whole region is so nice and warm. But it shouldn't be erupting. There's a massive great big boulder blocking the crater to stop that from happening. Jeepers, do you think it came loose somehow? After all these hundreds of years, not without some serious encouragement, it hasn't. There's nothing in the old stories about it ever having been dislodged before. Then it's an unprecedented disaster we've got on our hands, is it? Crikey, Alma Moon could be in danger. We have to go to Old Smokey. What? We have to put the boulder back and stop the volcano from erupting. You're joking, ain't you? It's all this flipping... Flip over there, Moon. Desert by here is Arctic by comparison. We'd be burnt to cinders. But didn't you bring me here to save the world? We have to go. We have to save Alma Moon. That's right. We passed the trials, didn't we? We can do this. Why, you little, uh, you little beauties! It's enough to make a grown fairy cry. Sing how far you've come. All right, I'm game. Let's save the day onward, old Smokey. All right, let's go. Oh no! He got a butt attack on me. <laughs> Run! Get him, Bunky!
Being a level one kind of actually sucks. <laughs> So we need a certain somebody to gain a Babana! A lot of levels. Bonkers. Come here, you running little shithead. Honkin' bonkin'. At least Bonkers is able to do some damage now, so. We did it. That's what matters. Quack, quack. Bony fuck. We can do this. Here we go. <coughs> we did it. So interesting, the uh, phrases that uh, closed captioning decides to pick up. Ooh, somebody's able to metamorphose, but we don't have anything to metamorphosize this, 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 them with. Which is actually really sad. I bet that's gonna be a new expensive item. Or is it a random item we have to find? I don't know. Nice job. Could be any number of things. <coughs> Stay calm now. Sunshine Daisy. Bottoms yellow.
We have tamed sunshine. The power of sun! Orange learned how to fling sun bum. Corona. Tanny. We'll go with Tanny. We're not gonna nickname every single familiar, funnily. Unless you've got something like off the cuff. Alright, you automatically grab that. Can't learn anything else yet. So I need this item. I don't have one. Growth limit is still plus four. I'll give you a milk chocolate. I think there is a cat at my door, though. <clears throat> so, at this victory screen, I'll let them in. Come on! Here you go! Good job, Tanny. Really, I'm only here to try to get more spicy meatballs. Are you kidding me? I could have gotten this asshole right here, boogly boo. I should have gone for the other asshole eels. Damn it. So if you want to catch them all, you gotta grind for it, which really sucks. Watch this, Lucius. What are you doing? But Here 
So many people can metamorphosize, but we don't have any metamorphic little big We got nothing to morphomalize. Let's them. go! Ourselves a big horn. Good job, Esha. Little, little. He is indeed little. Oh, oh. Magic! La da 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 We spun too far over. Watch this! That's all the spicy seeds we needed. Now we have to just go back to Al Mamoon. There's several things I want to look for in Al Mamoon anyway. I just, I needed the rest of the seed for the quest. So. It was one of those situations where it ended up working out that it makes more sense to come back much later than Here we go. at the exact moment I walked right past it. Angelimer's ready for metamorphosis is, 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 as well. My goodness, is, 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 is. Here we go. Let's get these boogly boogly boos. Did it. 
wonder if they all have different evolution levels. Probably, if I had to guess. Let's do it! Here go! Go though, if you could attack the uh, little big horn, I'd greatly appreciate it. Use your magic on it too. Imagine if the game actually made you, like, have a time limit to do things, and me doing this is just like, well, yeah, just screwed yourself over. Oh, well. As we like to say in the business, that is just the way that my cookie will crumble today. Excuse you. You sand freaking pit. I'm sure there's an ability that I can get that increases the odds for monsters wanting to join. Eventually, the hardest thing's gonna be remembering who we've gotten already. Oh, well, that's a problem for later. Because I don't think this game actually has a marking saying, Oh, you've already gotten this monster. I guess I could get into a fight with a son to figure that out. Let's go! We all just scream like duck. But we'll deal with that later. For now, we go back to Alma Moon. Interesting, very interesting, unless I'm very much mistaken, which of course I'm not. Do you keep familiars, am I correct? Uh, yes, but why do you ask? I think you'll find that you are the, just the person I've been waiting for. Excellent. And hey, how exactly will we find? How will we find that? What are you on about, Specky? I think you'll find that my name is in fact Derwin, and I am a highly respected researcher in the field of familiarology. I am currently in the area collecting important data on the creatures that can be tamed here in the more arid regions of the world. Oh, you are, are you? And don't tell me you're too much of a wimp to go out you know, after them yourself, so you want us to help you, is that it? Precisely. I'd like to offer you the most exciting opportunity to assist in some groundbreaking research by taming certain creatures and bringing them to me for study. Good, I hope you won't let me down. Which creatures do you want us to tame? Uh, let me consult my list here. Ah, yes. I need you to collect data on a species of creatures said to resemble a bunch of unripe babanas and one that wears a purple turban. Run along now. Okay. Not bad. We can easily do that as we go. By the ancients, you've gathered ingredients I ask of you to mix the to mix them is the work of mere moments for a master such as myself. It is done. You have the honor of possessing a quantity of the sheik's most coveted special spices in the right hands. They will produce a curry beyond compare. Thank you, sir. Alright, I'm gonna drop by here. Hello, lady. You 
don't have anything I need. Ugh. Who am I gonna- Where do you get the metamorphosis items? Again, I still think a milk fountain would smell absolutely horrendous. Oh, I need... Fluffy rice and tender beef. Okay. I guess he's too much of a cheapskate to uh, go and do that himself. Fluffy rice. Oh, we already have fluffy rice. We need tender beef. Bye, Grandma. Begin at once! Yep, yep, yep. Ziva the flavor of the legendary Tikka Mahala! The wow, legendary so Tikka Mahala! It really does. Wow! Sorry, man. I just can't hold back. I'm going in! Yeah, me too! Here goes! Oh! Crikey! This spicy beef and veg is a marriage made in curry heaven. The Raj Mahal is a spicy oasis in a desert of disappointment. I never had it before, but this is the best curry I ever ate. I've never had curry before. <laughs> you are surprised and elated, I see. The Sheikh's special spices never fail. The delicate harmony of spice and tender beef intertwining with the subtle aroma that you... Hmm? Mm. Oh. But they are not listening to a word I say. Mm. Oh, well. Eat, friends, and be merry. Raj's curry pot never runs dry. Yippee! Yippee! Yeah, have my eternal gratitude thanks to you. The Tikka Mahala is no longer a relic of the past, but a living, breathing part of Mamuni culture. This is surely not enough to compensate you for your troubles, but please, I must give you something. Five bowls of Tikka Mahala la la. We got four merit stamps, let's go. I wonder if the, I doubt it, but let's check out the um, weapon store. Maybe that might have something for evolutionary items. Or sorry, metamorphosi items. No bounty hunts. No bounties to claim. And haven't earned anything for these. I'm gonna hold off on those for now. Yeah, we already got that one. Alright, so he wants uh, the Babana creature as well as the Turban creature, so I guess we just grind out for him. Sure.
or well, I got one in the bag. Let's go fight ourselves with some babonis. And the Tur Bandits. Ah, you ran away from me, you son of a bitch. And it's that mushroom little fuck right there that I want. Ah. Well, he didn't turn around. He just heard our approach. Here we go. I don't know why I always mimic them, but you know, whatever. Here we are. Mimic number like four quadrillion. Here we go. One of the two are down. Da 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 da. <laughs> Bendit, Banjaman, Turbangela, Turbangela, Turberry, uh, Turberry. Come along, Turberry. All right, now we need the banana man. Come along, banana man. Bless you. Here we go. Here we go. Her bandit was Turbaddy. Oh, she has no health. Nah, she's fine. On the hunt for banana fiends. Sorry, banana fiends. Welcome to the Copa Babana. Here we go. Here we go.
since they're metamorphable and they're gonna just go back to level one, might as well allow them to, like, get some experience for the other people for a little bit. Especially since we're just trying to grind up a freaking partner. Let's go! Master, leave it to me. Easy. to in the business as bad luck. Currently. Uh. We can do this. With my luck, we're gonna get bonehead. Well, we didn't get either. Would have preferred Bonehead, though, but whatever. Good job, Orange. Good job, Tanny. You must encourage them or else they get sulky and surly. No, it's okay. Mr. Drippy has all the drip for us, so... It would be too much for the game if we also had drip the way Mr. Drippy had drip. <laughs> Bonchers. Soup is indeed good. I appreciate you dropping by to say hi. Hello back. No worries. 
Not every game's for every person. That's why there's so many. We'll catch you at the next one. Let's go! Here goes! <laughs> Smells like someone's cooking Cheerios again. <laughs> yes, I know it's popcorn, but it smells like cooked Cheerios. Let's do it! Here goes! <laughs> Yep. You want out, buddy? Alright. Ah, it's probably just my sniffer is broken. That's all. Found another Babana Mana. Watch this. Here goes. We did it. I don't even want to spend this much time grinding, but I need to tame these for a quest. But it's such RNG Stay that it's b, b, b bullshit Come on you green bunch of bullshit Honey bunches of oats That's what you are Good job, Tanny the Sun. Why won't these bananas join me? Let's do it! Here goes! Well, we got the clubber cob. They're not bananas, they're babanas. Like the kind you get at the Copa Cabana. Sorry, the Copa Babana. That one was a terrible joke. See, it's a babana. Maybe I'd like a babana more than I like a banana. Tigles. Stripey. Whiskers. Tigore. Well, now what happens? Do they just automatically get sent to the familiar dungeon? We'll find out. Because we got the maximum we can hold on us, so... 
I mean, if I have to, I'll get rid of Tigore. Oliver's just like, leave me and my teenage son alone. No, he saw me too low, far away. We can't catch up to him. Fuck. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Watch this. Yeah, I really do hope that there is a way to increase the probability of you, uh, recruiting. Ugh. Should be another Babana man. There you are. No! Oh, good, he turned around randomly. Let's go. Bless you. Come on! Mr. Clubber Cup. Got all the good duckies. Not really. We didn't take one of the duckies. Babana mana. Ah, oh, you're too far away anyway. I'm not even gonna bother. He's too far for us to chase. Got caught on the geometry, which is perfect. <laughs> All right, we got double ba ba ma ba ma ma. You're like, you got double what? Mechanic is Babana. B A B A N A. Babana. Fuck.
Got a bunch of green. Finally. Now we find out what happens if your inventory is full. I would assume it just goes straight into your uh, poke box. Oh, wait, sorry. Into your fiend folio. Wait, no, wrong one. Familiar retreat. Skinny. Slippy. Bendy. Slippy. Hello, hello! I'm a friendly, familiar tree representative. A pleasure, I'm sure, if you have any familiars. They can take up to 400. Oh, we get an introductory gift. Three vials of the Great Sage's Secret. Okay, so I can literally... Metamorphose... Some of them. Star sign... Moondrop. No. No. Okay, I can't metamorphose you. Okay, it's not close enough, apparently. You know what? Fuck you! I don't understand it. Oh, final form! That's why. Fuck me, dude. Ugh. I get it now. The bunching of the babana form protuberances, possibly for defensive purposes, and the rich purple of the turban, I think you'll find that is to discourage predators. Yes. Yes. Mm, some very interesting data. This will certainly raise some eyebrows in the familiarological fraternity. There's no use, man. Specky here is in a world of his own. Come on, let's leave him at. Oh, here. Hey, we've run 15 errands. Now we can metamorphosize them. Oh, wrong one. Creature cave, please. Yeah. No. 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 From Drongo to Strongo! Good job, buddy. Come on. Th from Thumbelemer to a Dumbeliner. Don't worry, Angelemer. You're still our Angelemer, even though you're a Dumbeliner. <laughs> yeah. What are you getting? Oh, what are you? All right. Well, 
Either way. We got what we wanted, so let's leave. To Mount Doom and Gloom. Sorry, Mount Smoky. Essentially, my goal is to just get people up to the point where they're ready to uh, metamorphose, and then we switch them out. We'll keep a good, strong party with us all the time, but have a couple that we switch out that we don't actually use. Bonkers was also singing to him. He's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What a bonehead. You're lucky, I was gonna call you Dumb Skull. But the game came up with something nice, so we went with the nice one. We can do this! Here go! <laughs> Easy. The ducky noises are nice. <laughs> Of course, I'm not the duck lover here, so. I'm a duck admirer. Come here, you stupid son. I already have sunshine. I know that for a fact. But the problem is, I'm pretty sure though that they um they split. Like, and you'll actually need several of each, so maybe I should have taken it. I don't know, dude. But maybe not all of them do. Maybe only some of them do. Stay calm now. Here goes. We did it. Wah, wah. I mean, it's free experience to level up on these buttholes. Come on, you guys! Here go. Watch this! Here goes! 
If we get a small fry, I should call him a large coke. Because you want to get a small fry with a large coke. Diet coke, of course. Because you want to be healthier. You know. I was hoping Tanny would be close to an uh, metamorphosized ability so I could just put it away. gone. Man, if only it was that easy. May the power of Christ compel thee. Curse be gone. A lot of priests would be out of business if you just could buy a drink called Curse Be Gone. We're under attack. Bestiary in this game must be interesting looking. Like, that's something I always want to look at in every game, like, ahead of time. Like, I want to look at bestiaries. I want to look at Pokedexes. I want to look at, like, the monsters you can recruit and stuff. But, like, that ruins some of the fun. Like, ruins bosses or surprises. And it's just like, ah! But, like, in my case, uh, for instance, I'm playing, um... Fuck, what's it called? Cassette Beasts, and it's like, I don't know what monsters to expect to look for, who can, like, you know, who evolves or not, like, am I wasting my time leveling somebody up? I don't know. 
Old Smokey. Is this a cutscene? Might be. This so oh, this is old smoky. Jeepers, the whole mountain is on fire. I've always seen it from town, but I've never been this close before. Well, don't just stand there gulping. It ain't exactly what you might call safe around here, Rambo, yeah. That's why people in Paris tend to say clear. And anyway, it's not give a wild bird. You can bet beasties will be flipping love. Brace yourselves, we're in for a bumpy ride. Watch out for the love, Oliver. I doubt even a wizard could survive falling into that. Don't worry, I'll be real careful. If we all work together, we'll make it through this, like, just like we made it through the trials. Well, that's inspirational tidy. Let's crack on then, shall we? Don't stop till you reach the top. Tidy! I hope we get some kind of like a uh, fast travel. Eventually. At least like between all the stones and shit, because that would be like proper nice. It's a ruffian. Get it? Because it's a dog. So rough. This is the names for these. They are fan freaking tabulous. I'm gonna keep you because you are the magic I keep with them. So then... Alright, I guess we'll go in order that we got them. Oh, rough stuff's already level 10? Nice. Alright, Clubber Cup is the next one in order that we got them. Bye bye <laughs> My spider senses are tingling. Let's go this way. Ha ha! My treasure senses! Shrimpaler? I shrimply don't know about this. As you know, the devil in the details and the puns. You know, I do sometimes crow along about how uh, impressive I am with my jokes. This pile of nuts and bolts ain't budging an inch. I wonder, can I... Rejuvenate? Quick and growth. Secret ingredient. Ah, treasure I cannot open. We need 
some real pot magic. Pot ant magic. Come on, you guys! Here goes! Part of me wishes I could, like, slow down when I'm choosing my actions. But I doubt that's an option. ATB wait. <laughs> There's no ATB system here. Well, actually, there kind of is an ATB system. So do I just have to find them willy-nilly? Are you a moon? No, you're a star. Can I see my bestiary? Who just leveled up? The turban dude. Turban? Yeah, you're Splisher and Hooray. Turban. What's your affinity? Your sun sign? Mm, that didn't help me. Because we got ourselves a moon, right? None of our people are moonies. Well, actually, you're a moonie, so. Whatever. Well, we'll have one for later, so that's all that matters. Or the Doom weapon wheel slow down. Yeah! Would be nice to just, you know... You could probably cheese something with that in this game, too. If you hit them with, like, a multi-hit move and then Doom wheeled it, you could probably get that... The deep fryer. Ooh, got a sun drop though. Flinty, nah. Stony, nah. Hot stuff. Oh yeah. Curses. What's your sign? You are a star. My game wishes to torment me as long as possible, I guess. Which is okay, I guess. I'll just be sad forever and ever and ever and ever. It almost sounds like the duck is quacking out Sora, and I'm just like, is this Donald Duck? Kingdom Hearts style? No? Okay. Let's do it! Here go! We 
abracadoodle, abracadabra, open this thing before I cradabble. Magic. Shrimp Paler eventually transform into Shrimp Cocktail? Planet Drop? Well, that sounds dangerous. Well, that might be. I'm just about to drop a planet. <laughs> Let's do it. Here I'll have to look at that later, after we beat the game. Would hate to see a spoiler. The only spoiler I need for this game is that it's cute. Just try to use Fire Beam at me. Ah, little is not tameable. We got a little more to go. <laughs> Jiminy Christmas! What the? Oh, that was one huge tremor. Oh, nickers, 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 nickers. What's wrong, Mr. Mr. Drippy? No, bad closed captioning. That is not what I said. Bad closed captioning. Jesus freaking Christ. That big one's on the way. I can feel it in my lantern. and this old boy's about to blow. You can really tell. Of course I can. I am Lord High Lord of the Fairies and I have volcano eruption sensing child's play for the likes of me, mun. Then we have to hurry. We have to stop it. You're not wrong, mun. We'll be toast if we don't. Come on to the top with you. Yeah. Ah, well. Move along. Let's go! Uh, when closed captioning goes rogue, right? Good job, Orange. What are you, big guy? I'm a balloon. Let's go. Holla balloon. It's like a holla balloon, but it's a holla balloon. Once he pops, well, that's that. I guess. We did it. A burning blade. Probably not super useful here, though. Hullabaloo, but it's a hullabaloo. It's 
fire element, which probably it usually seems nice, but we're most likely going to be fighting a fire boss. So using a fire blade wouldn't be useful at all. I'm banking on us finding a heal station before the boss, though. Let's do it. If not, we have to grind for a level up on uh, Ollie or something, or for Gogo to heal us more. Thank you, Gogo. Got another planet dropping on us, but we need a star drop, game. Star! S-T-Q-R. Star. Now it's just taunting me. All these star drops, these moon drops, these fucking planet drops. I was the best speller in every class I ever took. We won. It's because I knew all about the silent letters other people don't. Like the silent Q and star. People always overlook them. I'm like, don't overlook them. first person. Oh, it's a dead end. Flip, flip, flip. Uh, could you, you could try freezing that lava over by there. Yeah, give that a go.
I've decided just to Let's forgo go. certain keywords in this game. For the sake of my sanity. I already have a boogly boo. AKA orange. But just in case that there is a second, like, uh, it has a split evolution. Oh, sorry, metamorphosis. I'm gonna have two. Might as well. Because right now, Let's we have 400 storage slots, and we're not. At a point where we're like, you know, running close to full, so. For now, we'll just accept everyone we can and then get rid of any dupes as we see. Little is ready for a little bit of metamorphosis. Motherfucker. As well save since we, you know, captured somebody new. Uh, whoa, that was a big one. Ah, uh, if we don't stop the old boy erupting soon, we can kiss or sorry behind goodbye. Then let's stop it. That's easier said than done, Nolly boy. If my seven senses to be trusted, we've got... We've got what, Mr. Drippy? Three minutes! Three flipping minutes by Cracky, only three. Three mun, three! Got three minutes. I take it. Hang on. That's no time at all. Are you absolutely sure? Do I look like I'm flipping, messing around? Three minutes, I said. In three minutes, I meant three short minutes to stop this thing erupting. Don't worry, Mr. Drippy. We'll make it. I, I know we will. Come on. We have to hurry. Didn't it take you more than three minutes to flip the fuck out, Mr. Drip Drip? like we have random encounters either though so that's nice oh i say as i immediately find a random encounter does this also still count towards our timer maybe Do not count, which is good. There's an item over here. <laughs> You're like, you're wasting precious seconds. It was for strong coffee, okay? It was definitely worth the seconds of almost death destruction by a volcano to go grab that coffee. I don't want to hear it. It is always worth it to go back and get some coffee. 
No, I'm not an addict. I just really, really like it. We're under attack! Yeah, I just don't want to. You can't make me. I'll stop tomorrow if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Come on. Something, something, something. Give me food. Good job, Bunkers. Good job, Tigor. Good job, Orange. Ten out of ten, this wouldn't actually work. Well, hi, Cat One. Hi, Cat Two. Did you try to eat the burnt popcorn? I mean, the burnt uh, Cheerios. Here we go. The cooked Cheerios. That was the word I was looking for. Krubus, I'll put you up in your bed in a second. Like I wasn't even gone. No pressure. We only have 79 seconds until death, doom, and destruction. Ooh! Shortcut to a treasure chest. Cloud cover? That's not strong coffee. In fact, I'd call that not coffee at all. What cods wallop? We're under attack. Here we go. is sitting in his bed, just staring directly at the door with his wide eyes. And Lucius is eating, so Krobus is also very hungry and jealous. We got a star drop, y'all! There, Mun. Seems like this is as good a place as any to stop the old drippy clock. Let's see now. There we go. But I thought you said we only had three minutes. I distinctly remember you saying that several times, in fact. Well, yes, I did, but it was more of an estimate, see, to give you something to work around. Like, you know, what? But I guess it helped us get here quicker, huh, Mr. Drippy? Exactly, that's what I meant, isn't it? But you made us think that. <sighs> Never mind, I suppose at least we're here now. We better go and have a look at the crater. Come on. Ah, so Mr. Drippy lied to us. He's just like, man, I'm tired of going slow here. <gasps> so we're going from a seed sprite to a sprout sprite. Let's go, potato. Let's go. 
Abracadabra, Lil Kazam, we have turned into a sp Sprout Sprite Man. Bless you. Stop sneezing, you asshole. Jeez. No, Lucius, you can't leave. Lucius really wants to leave. Well, this looks dangerous. On top of old Smokey at last. Wow, it's like... It's like the end of the world. Crikey, look at that boulder, man. It's just like I said, it's come unstuck. How the heck did that happen? Wait, look, what's that? You came, boy, as I knew you would. Is that? Crikey is flipping sh sh Shadar! Shadar? Huh? <laughs> I have a little trial of my own for you. Moltan! Told ya! We didn't want to use fire. Even big beasties like this have a weak spot, Olly boy. Try and get around the back of it and attack its tail. It's your chance. Defend it. Yeah. 
time for some coffee. Curse Bluesh. I. I. Hmm. He's just like, hey, who knocked me into the bath? Good job, potato. Bum ba da la da la. The smoke has stopped. I think we fixed it. Mm, you did it, Oliver. You saved Al Mamoon. Yeah, but what about Shadar? Dawn, dawn, dawn. Don't go getting ahead of yourself, Mudden. You're nowhere near ready to face him yet. Didn't you feel the power coming off of him? Terrifying it was. I'm so worried he's going to steal a piece of my heart again, but he just sort of left us alone, didn't he? Well, I wouldn't say that exactly. He was the one controlling that fiery guardian, and you can bet this whole mess was thanks to him and all. Really think all of this was Shadar's work? Of course it was. Who else would do something so flippin' rotten? I reckon we had a lucky escape. I had no idea. Thank you so much for sealing the volcano back up, Oliver. But, but you don't need to thank me, Asha. Of course I do. Without you, my hometown could have been destroyed. You saved the people of Al Mamoon from disaster. But, Asha, you... You weren't exactly standing on the sidelines, were you? Don't let your old pure heart here take all the glory. I suppose I did help a little. You passed out twice. Thank you. I'll show you head back to Al Mamoon. I want to tell my father about our adventure. Sure, let's go tell him how brave you were. Is that a fast travel teleporter? I see. Are there any shinies around here? Nope. Okay. Potato didn't do anything, though. Travel back to the foot of Old Smokey. To the old smoking foot, yo. <laughs> That's it. Just a nice overhead shot of it, eh? Come on! Here goes! 
I'll agree, Potato is a cheerleader. Well, I sure died again. Asher, you need to eat your Wheaties. Yeah. Orange can metamorphosize. Orange goes from a boogly boo to a bigger boogle. Spelling provided by Ahmad. Just heal. Jesus Christ, Gogo, -Go, you have healing abilities. Use them. I'm not healing you, Escher. So fucking heal up yourself. You've almost grown to level two. That's why I haven't bothered to heal her. Stayed alive for like three seconds. Shocker. I didn't bother to uh, heal her or anything. She just got full health. So it's just like, you know, go around the fucking crack, asshole. You guys! Uh... We got some fluffy rice. Nice. Got that nice rice, yas. We 
it's kind of interesting, this uh, game and its controls, because, like, uh, it controls a lot more like an ARPG with a lot of RPG uh, systems, which is not necessarily always the case of an ARPG, but also has a lot more just extra stuff on the side that's not ARPG or typical RPG stuff. It's weird. Not bad, just weird. Look at that fun dude. I don't know how to get up there at all, but look at that fun dude. Mr. Rashad, you have returned. Does this mean you have completed the trials? Yes, sir, and Master Solomon taught us a whole bunch of neat stuff. I am happy for you, but this is no time for celebrations. The city is in grave danger. The volcano is... Don't worry, you're pretty little. I heard about that. Your sage ship, we sorted that out too while we were at it. You? But how? It's quite a story, Father, you see. So not only did you succeed in completing the trials, you also prevented the volcano from erupting. That is quite a tale. It would seem that your potential is even greater than I imagined. But for Shadar himself to have appeared, it seems his game has entered the ne its next phase. I must look into this. Thank you, Mr. Rashad, sir. We should get back to our journey. Do we have to, Ollie boy? I'm flipping tired, man. Can't we stop by here for a bit and have a nice babana or two? There's no time, Mr. Drippy. Other towns could be in danger. Mr. Rashad, I need to learn more magic. I need more powerful spells. You have proven your ability. You have overcome the trials and saved the city. I have nothing more to teach you. You will learn more, Oliver, but you will learn much of it yourself as your journey continues. I will? Yet there is a limit to what can be learned without instruction. Very well. You must visit my fellow great sages, and you must learn what they have to teach you. He's right, Ollie boy. Shadar is one tough cookie. He is a expired cookie left out in the sun too long, burnt to a crisp he is. You'll need all the help you can get if you're going to beat him. But where can we find the other great sages? Alicia, she who once fought alongside me, fell foul of Shadar and her soul was sealed away. There are two more. They are out there somewhere. <laughs> There's you still somewhere, eh? Ta, sage face. Fat lot of use you are. I do not know their exact whereabouts, but I believe one of them resides in the city of Hamlin on the continent of Arto... Autumnia. Autumnia. Hamlin, huh? Thank you, Mr. Rashad, sir. Autumnia. It's far away to the east. You'll need a boat to get there. So you need to go via Castaway Cove. It's the closest port. Reach it, you must cross the desert to the south of here. Cross the desert to the south, huh? Is it far away? Don't worry, Oliver. I'll show you the way. Sure, you mean... Yes, I'm coming with you. We'll travel together from now on. But are you sure? Of course I am. We're both fighting for the same thing, aren't we? You already know how helpful having me around can be. You bet I do. But, Mr. Rashad, is it all right if Asher comes with us? I know my daughter. There's no stopping her when she sets her mind on something. I have little choice but to agree. Asher, you must make yourself useful to Oliver. You must not become a burden to him. Of course I won't. I'm a great sage's daughter. <laughs> Truly you are. Then it is decided, Oliver, please take care of my daughter. I will, sir. <laughs> Look after me, won't you, Oliver? Oh, and I'm sure you will too, Drippy. Welcome aboard. Oh, I'm an afterthought, is it right? Oh, I can see how this is going to work out. So, I suppose you do brighten the pace, place up a bit. Go on, then. The more the merrier, I suppose. Well, Father, I had better get you going. Take care, daughter. May the agents watch over you. Thank you, Mr. Rashad. We'll come visit you again real soon, I promise. I say, it's the young fellow I met in Ding Nong Dell. And here you are again, old thing. What are the chances, eh? Jolly good to see you. It's good to see you too, sir. Are you writing about Al Mamoon now? Indeed I am. The desert is baldly sweltering, but one can't say one has been on a world tour without squeezing in a little volcano viewing, don't you know? Jeepers, you climbed Old Smoky. Hardly, as my maiden aunt always remarked, I'm not the most courageous of fellows, but I did poodle around the foot. Jolly well worth it, it was too. It inspired me to write a marvelous little passage from my memoirs. Let me just to you. Oh, bother! Oh, dash and bother and confound it all! 
what's wrong. Well, uh, I seem to have misplaced the old diary yet again. Jolly embarrassing, of course, giving my solemn promise to you the last time we met. I must seem rather a scatterbrained old lemon. Ah, oh, man. Leave it to us, mister. Ah, oh, the fire of youth brings a tear to one's jaded old eye. Remind the fancy talk to you, where did you drop the flipping thing this time? Ah, uh, yes, of course. I seem to remember composing a little something whilst leaning against rather a fine old tree at the foot of the volcano. Ah! The old feller lost his thing again. See if there are any bounties. There are. Nothing new yet, so we'll hold off on that for a bit. Well, thankfully, two of these are right next to each other. My burp tasted like a pickle. It was weird. I haven't had a pickle in like two and a half hours. Our custom, our custom is appreciated. Well, we're going over there, so... Bernie Boo, yep. So my question is, is like, I need a better, like, 
13, 14. So then Ruff turns into Ruffian, which goes into a Gruffin, I guess. Okay, this definitely helps. Okay, yeah, so small fry turns into deep fry. <laughs> I said that the other day, too! We can do this! <laughs> I know you did. But it's true, she do. Still a shame you got rid of the uh, dancing cop one. That makes a bit more sense then. Always a shame. Recreated from memory. We did it. Mademoiselle? Actually, it seems to also be fire, so... Oh, 
Good job, Potato. You water that, uh, mag -moiselle. We still gotta find a, um, whatever it's called, a, um, a tree. Why would you want to go to a volcano where all the plants are on fire? Is my question. We're under attack. Here go. We've definitely gone too far in. Actually, I want a sun drop. Or, no, a star drop. Because the issue is we have so many star monsters, but no drops for them. Damn, I gave you a chance to prove me wrong, but you know what you did? You did. Disappointed in you. Oh, so disappointed. Here we go. Here go. I'm gonna need to look into if there's an achievement for, like, um, beating, like, 
or not beating, for actually owning everything or just filling out your compendium, which just involves not necessarily actually owning everything, but maybe closer to like, say again under a tree near the bottom of old smoky Duffer's diary! Well, I'm sure he'll be glad we found it. We found the old Duffer's diary. The da da. The da 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 Alma Moon, but especially since where we have to go anyway, it's like right there. So. We also have that other bounty, which I, yeah, it's right there, so. But we'll turn in that bounty. We are not gonna turn around and turn in that bounty unless we're like severely injured. You're waiting, sir. This is your direct. I want to say you are a marvel, a treasure, a brick of the first order. Try not to lose it again, okay? Oh, absolutely. You have my most solemn promise, my vows, gentlemen, that I will never leave my side again. Now, here, a reward, boy. So he'll lose it in the next city. Is what I'm getting out of this.
You're just a bunch of bananas. Sorry, babanas. That dude is babana. Babana nana. Or apparently, according to closed captioning, I'm trying to summon the Baba Duke. Which might be a little bit more dangerous. Why does it have to change my angle? I'm one of two people streaming this game. Nice. We can do this. Here goes. <laughs> We got the wombo combo up on that bat, yo. And we got creamy m milk. Well, I don't have a sun. I guess it's a sun. I got a planet. Yes, you are out of pickles. Bless you. Am I going to literally say bless you every time we scroll onto a clubber cub and it sneezes? Let's do it. Yes. Because it's fucking hilarious to me. Hog Goblin. I wish it was called a Hog Boblin. It'd be funnier to me. Look at that fat bat, it's so cute.
Good job, potato. Order for taming twenty different speed b b b b c's. So this was a difficult area. These are all probably high level evolutions of uh, the monsters you can see down there, like Bernard was Batson, those uh, colorful bananas. Sorry, babanas. Her loiner. Easy. We got a supple amount of leather from that kitty cat, though. No, we're not. We're attacking them. They are under attack. We are under easy fights. <laughs> Slippy learned blunt. What are you rolling, my friend? Bananas. Ba 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 bananas. Rings a bell. Not really ringing a bell, though. Why did it lie to me? 
We can do this! Here goes! I've been amusing myself by watching a speedrun of the very longest of, uh... Dragon Quest games. Been watching a speedrun of Dragon Quest 7. I'm only halfway through it so far. Because it is considered one of the longest... It is the longest Dragon Quest game, period. But also is considered one of the longest RPGs out there. In that I am currently nine and a half hours into it. It's about an 18 to a 19 hour speed run. No biggie. Right. Here goes. Here goes. We did it. Our potato is growing up so strong. I have such a strong potato. Sounds so weird when you phrase it like that. My potato is so strong! What are we gonna name you? Hoggerty? Nah. Hogwart? Nah. Boss Hog? Yeah. Yeah, boss. Percy, Percival, Prince, Price, Percy. Let's go with Prince. I love the little musical jingle in this when you do like magic spells. Oh my god, stop it. Thank you. Stay calm now. I'm always calm. <laughs> Job, orange. Shonky Honky. We 
the gob speed, eh? Watch this! Here goes! Glad the uh, goblin allowed us to uh, eat a sandwich. Could have been bad if it didn't. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Now who could this be? This game is so nice to you. And that even though Escher is unconscious, she still gains, it looks like, full experience. Potato learned Razzle Dazzle. And I'm sure Cozy over here is just like, it doesn't need Razzle Dazzle, it's already amazing. Them potatoes. Them taters. Chunky Honkers! I rest my case. Something out there is watching me. There's dangers in the deep.
I want to capture me a Shanky Honker. Here we go. I must have my ADHD music duck. I already have one of these. It's the Shonky Honker I want. Not a Perloiner. That should allow her to live for just the smallest amount of time. Come on, you guys! Here goes! Oh, Escher. Gone. That's what I'm like every night when I want to go to bed. Sleep just be gone. It eludes me. like dead tired right here ready to go to bed and then I get up to go to bed and I'm just like well time to be awake come on here go it takes hours for me to get to sleep mm. on a good night Bonkers. Monolith? Stay calm now. Here you go. Got a sun drop, that's nice. Oh, we might actually be able to transform our sun. From a sunshine to a grand sun. Thank you. 
We've got all these moon and planet drops. It's a shame I don't have any moon and planets. <laughs> well, there's a moon. You're gonna be called Wambo, Wamber, Wilhelm, Winfred, William. Makes sense. The name's Wambat, William to my friends. of half-dressed harmony. Okay. Stop! Thief! Huh? A thief? Where? That man, he ran off with a huge pot. You come back here, you must pay! Someone has to stop him. It's daylight robbery. You're not going to let him get away with it, are you, Ollie boy? No way. We need to go after him. That's the spirit proper brave, you are, man. No wonder you passed them trials. I need to say that, Oliver. Let's chase down that criminal. All right. Come on. I want to take a nap first. Chocolate! Coffee. Fifty guilders? That's daylight robbery. Oh, memories. Yeah, sure. Yes, yes, this is it. This is the future. Gee, ma'am, you sure do seem happy. No doubt I do. I have successfully visualized a swimsuit. More elegant than anything that has ever come before it. For the designer, no choice comparable. I uh, need only acquire the materials. Uh, what? What do you need? A certain material that is rare, but not unobtainable. Sure. What do you need for a snazzier swimsuit? It is rainbow leaves. believes that the flowers must be cooled down before they're picked up. They will otherwise wilt. We gotta knock a floret out with an ice attack. Huh. Actually something tricky for once. I like it. She's got kindness. Time to steal her heart. Yoink! Thanks, ma'am. I love cake. Oh, 
I got some fish, boy geese. Okay. Greeny pirate. So nothing new yet, which is a surprise. Flustered Fisherman. I thought that was pizza for a second. Now I'm disappointed. It was just a stupid pie. Feels bad, man. Courage. Now we're gonna steal it from them. Ba da 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 ba da 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 bum. Man, it's always sad. It leaves off a note. It needs to have like an ending. It leaves on an uplift. I want the down low. some courage. Hey look, it's a crab, a purple crab. More burgers made out of fish. Damn it, there's no escape. Get back what you stole. What? I stole? What are you on about? What do you mean, what am I on about? That great big pot, of course. Pot? Oh, this thing? What's wrong with the mud? It looks like he doesn't even remember stealing it. <laughs> what do I want with this piece of rubbish? If you want it, it's yours. Uh, 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 I'm sure it will make you very happy. See ya! See ya! What the? What was that all about? Why would he steal something and then just throw it away like that? Yes, why would he? What was he thinking? I don't reckon he was thinking at all, Mun. Huh? How do you mean? Well, he ain't bothered what he steals. It's just the stealing he's in it. He's in it for, ain't it? I mean, he enjoys stealing for its own sake. Yeah, that's about the size of it. I'm no expert, mine. That's really true. He's even more horrible than I thought. Well, never mind that for a minute. Let's get this old pot back to that peddler, shall we? He must be worried sick, poor fellow. Must be, huh? Let's take it back to him. We got a peculiar pot, which probably has some actual significance. You look so happy, but your nose, my dude. Your nose. Uh huh. Are you tired? Let's walk. Seems like he's having the time of his life. He's a strong Mr. Fairy. He can handle it. I got bored. Uh, excuse me, sir. I think this belongs to you. Oh, uh, indeed. You, uh, you recovered it? Yes, we did. The thief got away, unfortunately. We got your pot back for you. Curses. Uh, I mean, is that so? Y you have my thanks. Crikey, don't go being too grateful, will you? It's not like it's flipping heavy or anything. Give me. It's just that I was rather pleased. I finally rid myself of it. Huh? Manu Chase, he's a habitual thief. He does not care what he steals, so... As ever, I called after him. Stop, thief. When I saw what he had taken, I gave thanks to the ancients. You gave thanks for being robbed? This is, since yes, you see, this pot, no matter how I try, it will not open. Therefore, I cannot use it to store my wares. It's of no use to me. Yes, you must take it, for apprehending the thief is the least I can do. You're 
giving it to us just like that. Hold on a second. You just told us it's flipping useless, and now you're pretending you're doing us a favor. What's going on, man? Uh, uh, um. I hope you'll think of it as a souvenir of your visit to Castaway Cove, Jewel of the Seven Seas. Uh -huh. Souvenir, great big pot like this. Yes, a most wondrous souvenir. It is no ordinary pot after all. If the rumors are to be believed, it was once used by an ancient royal family. It has an illustrious and regal history. But that's true. We can't accept it. It's too valuable. Uh, but you must. I'm so grateful to you. So very grateful for your help. Think it out. Go on, take it. Go. Beyond. Uh, okay. You said yes. What'd you do that for, man? What do you mean, Mr. Drippy? Did I do something wrong? I mean, he looked as if he was going to cry if I didn't take it. He seemed real worried. Indeed, I was worried, worried that you would, uh, think me ungrateful. Yes, that's what I was worried about. Thank you so very much. Something funny is going on here. Come on, tell us. There's something wrong with this pot, isn't there? Uh, wrong? Why, of course not. It is simply that the lid will not open, and perhaps now and again, spine chilling clatterings emanate from within. But only every once in a while, it is nothing. <laughs> So the lid won't open, but strange sounds come from inside. What'd that mean? Aha, so that's it, is it? Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Huh? You know why I won't open, Mr. Drippy? Nah, man, it'll open. You just need to know how, ain't it? It's a cauldron, see? Really? This is a cauldron? Wow, you know what that is? Yes, I've never seen one, but my father used to have one. All wizards have a cauldron, you see. They do? That they do, Ollie boy, and the reason it won't open is because it's sealed up tight with powerful magic. But all it needs is a true wizard to say the magic words written in the wizard's companion and Alakazam, the lid will pop off just like that. It will, huh? I'll have a you should try opening. I should, right now. Why not, man? There's no time like the present. Go on, give it a go. Okay, so the magic words are in the wizard's companion, hmm? Let me take a look. No, you. Do you remember how to read your uh, wizard's companion, don't you? Sure I do. It'll be in the alchemy chapter. Mm, alchemy. Use your cauldron. Open sesame. Oh god. Alchemy, genie of the cauldron. You are very small, master. But it matters not. Your right to command me will be judged in battle. Huh? Where? Where is it? Ah! Aha! Now to arms! Oh, okay. That's a rip. So what you're saying is you gotta go a bye bye. Alakaz, um, no worries, mate.
Goodbye, Emma. Thanks for dropping by. Alakazam. He failed. Flippin' heck, is he really gonna try and poke you with that parasol? Now's your chance to give him what for. Hubble bubble. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I'm defending this time. Get him. I'm sorry, no, no, he was dead. No, <laughs> he had like one hell. Fuck off, mate. Oh, that's disappointing. So disappointing.
this time. Just attack us like that. Oh, are you all right, Oliver? Ha! Your name is Oliver, Master. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, most illustrious Master Oliver, your prowess in battle is unsurpassed. Graceful, fearsome, yet merciful. Truly, you are a master worthy of alchemy. Genie of the pot. Genie. That's right, Holly boy. Every cauldron has a genie inside it, see? They do what's known as alchemy for you, but they have to test you first to see if you're worthy, ain't it? That's why the big red bruiser started on you. Nothing personal like if you're after a cauldron, it's the only way. It's traditional, see? Gee, you could have warned me, Mr. Drippy. Ha! First I laid eyes on you, Master. Your diminutive size worried me most prodigiously. But you have humbled me. You have reminded me that a book may never be judged by its cover, no matter how un unimpressive it may be. I bow to you, Master, now and forevermore. Pleased to meet you, too. Now we can perform alchemy with alchemy. Ah, uh, so I must pay you a tribute. Please accept these humble gifts. Sour graps. You must combine these items with the power of alchemy. They will produce the most wonderful and magical result. Ah, oh, Master, it seems you are still in need of instruction concerning the use of the cauldron. There are two ways to alchemize. When you possess the alch alchemical formula of an item you may you desire, simply select follow the formula and you shall have it in an instant. But should you not possess it, you may select mix and match to combine ingredients. I pray you will produce most wondrous and magical results. For the first steps of your path, I recommend that you follow for you let you not run before you can walk. With this your first alchem alchemical experiment, I present you with a formula, behold. Follow the formula for Sprite Do. One please. It is a success! Truly a work of wonder. The cauldron is capable of many more such miracles. It can produce weapons, armor, medicines, and treasures of every kind. You must take your wizard companion in hand and try all that the chemical arts have to offer. I will, Mr. Genie, sir. Thank you very much. I look forward most humbly to serving you. Ha ha! That's useful, eh, Ollie boy? Now we just need to bag ourselves a boat and we'll all be tidy. Uh, 
I'd like to point out that, uh, he's just, like, there. So for now, I mean, we can't use you. So I don't think we need another Purloiner, we just need to... So we need f to kill Florets, which... To be honest, I don't even remember which one those are. So, that's fun. Oh well. Looking for a Slippy to say, ready to evolve or something like that. Metamorphos. boy is going to, like, be ready for anything for quite a while, so it might be in our best interest to pop him out for now. I don't know. Damn! 
brought about an age of ice. Are the florets though? This is the turban. It's a sunshine. Watch this. Here goes. I just get into every fight until you find them. Is the idea? Here we go. Here we go. We did it. I think it's those right there. The urge. But they're so freaking fast! Got it. Yep, that's a florette. We can do this! Of course, I needed to join me. Bullshit. The game's just like, oh, do you want your rare drop? Well, what if I gave you an even rarer party join? I'm like, <laughs> we can do this. Here goes. I think while we're doing this, I'm going to throw you here, you here. Bro, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you yet. You just sit there and think about what you could have been doing. It's gonna turn around, it's gonna turn around, it's gonna turn around. Oh, it didn't turn around yet. Let's go! If only that penguin hadn't been attacking, I may have been able to get a double.
Funnily enough, that actually gave us everything we needed to. But, while we're here collecting them, might as well get a couple more, right? You never know if you need them later on in the game. Stay calm now. Here I also need that light, dude. It's like a lamp shader or something. Light shade. Stay calm now. Here you go. Darn. We, we did it! Tigor. I'll try one more time for one. And then start heading back. Watch this! Here goes! <laughs> Eventually, we'll come back and like hunt down things we miss and shit like that, but that's for later. It's later me's problem. Heh! <laughs> we can actually go up here though. Bonkers! B-O-N-K-E-R-S! It's bonkers!
last put it shadow Oh shit, we got a star drop! It's so rare. And guess what? I put everybody who requires a star drop away. Those are rare drops you only get for that quest. Kinda lame. Very sad. Oh well. We're under attack. Here go. No. Fuck off, game! We you won. put them to sleep! And I couldn't serenade the damn light! And then I wasted an alarm clock. Ugh, it's such bullshit. The timing could not have been worse. Ah. Ugh. Ugh. Oh well. Oh, my God. 
That big pot. You have. It's a cauldron, is it not? Yeah. You must be a wizard. Crikey, it sounds like this little girl knows a thing or two about wizarding, Ollie boy. I do. I read my wizard book every day. I know all about wizards and the spells they cast, but the spells, they are not my favorite thing about wizards. It is alchemy that I love the most. Right there, I can make almost anything. Is that true? It is. It's actually pretty easy if you have the right ingredients. Easy for one such as you, I think. Ah, uh, being a wizard must be very wonderful. Would you would you show me how alchemy works? Could you make me a candle cutter, perhaps? I've heard that candle cutters can only be made using alchemy. Sure. You will need a flint, a dagger, and also an ember stone. Do I have a flint dagger? I do not. Confusion be gone. A dumb flounder. Certainly is a name. Oh, there she is. How'd she get all the way over there? I don't know. Got some Sundays. is a good place for us to leave it off and when we come back i guess we'll go look for a boat and stuff so um yeah i think that is where we are gonna be leaving it off for today we'll pick up again next time so anyway stay thank you everybody for watching i hope you all enjoyed and until the next time everybody Stay funky, people.